Hello, this is Ed Rigsby. How are you today? I'm the guy that talks about member recruitment, member retention, and really all things membership. Today, I want to talk to you, the association executive, about does your organization have the will to grow? Hmm. So you might be saying, oh, what do you mean does my organization have the will to grow? Well, in my consulting, I've found um, quite frequently a lot of organizations where they really want the benefit of growth. They want their organization to grow. They want to have more members, which gives them more money, which gives them more uh, advocacy reach, more legislative reach, gives them um, more possibilities for programming, and all the cool things that having a larger organization can give. However, what they don't want is change. Yeah. They don't want change. So, so frequently I'm talking to association executives and their boards and yeah, Ed, you know, we want all this to happen. And then when I explain to them some of the things that they're doing that is counterproductive to their organization growing, it gets back to that uh, old definition of insanity, you know, wanting, uh, what is it, doing, doing things as we've already done it or we, as we've always done it and, and wanting a different result. And it blows me away. I can't tell you how many boards of directors I've worked with where I listen to these men and women and they wax on about how they want growth, how they want to change their organization, how they want to improve it, how they want to do all these things. And then as soon as we talk about change, as soon as we talk about, you know, building a member ROI centric organization, as soon as we talk about better governance, as soon as we talk about looking at the organization through the eyes of the non-member, all of a sudden, oh, no, we can't do that. No, no, this, this is how we've always done it. So this is how we're going to need to continue to do it. So I just wanted to um, commiserate with you, the association executive. You know, if I'm talking to you, you're going crazy. You've had this and you're sitting back and thinking, yep, 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 yep. Um, my board wants improvement but they're unwilling to make the changes necessary to improve. Well, Mr. Ms. Board, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Ms. Uh, Executive Director, Chief Staff Executive, CEO, President, whatever, EVP, whatever your, uh, your title is, here's the challenge. Maybe you need to let somebody else be the bad guy. And um, here's my recommendation. Go to my website, rigsby.com, go to the article bank, click on the association growth articles and find some articles that um, where I'm talking about this and give those to your board members. And rather than you be the bad guy, let me be the bad guy. And you can bring up the topic of, well, it isn't me, but the author of the ROI of membership says, and that, um, I hate to put myself out there as the higher authority, but some other authority makes it easier for you. I know you've talked to your blue in the face with these people and they won't change. And it's just, it's, it's a legacy of unwillingness to grow, unwillingness to improve, unwillingness to brace the change. And you know where I've seen this the most? Oh my gosh. Associations and societies that are like a hundred years old. Holy cow. They're still stuck in the era of the 40s and 50s. Well, let's think back. In the era of the 40s and 50s, the, most of the associations and societies were run by the volunteers. Well, back then, these were executives. These men and women, mostly men, had a bevy of secretaries to do their work for them. And they just went out and every in the morning barked their orders to their staff, said, you need to get this, 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 and this done. And they went on to doing whatever they did and the stuff got done. Well, fast forward this year in the 2000s, and this year is 2018 when this uh, video is being uh, produced. You know, right now it's not that way. Most of your members, they might be executives, but they probably don't have much of a staff. There's very few people that they can just go out and bark orders to and say, you need to do this. You need to get this done. So here they are. They have this erroneous belief of how it once was when, you know, in the old days, the, the titans of our industry, you know, they ran the organization. Yeah, not really. Their staff, their secretaries, their clerical people ran the organization. So now 
we take and you know back in that day the uh, person that was the paid staff was called an executive secretary and their job was to be more of the secretary today the chief staff executive the top paid person in an association or society tends to be called a ceo because there's a large staff and they're running people and it's their job to manage the people so if you're a um, executive director maybe you might want to let your board watch this uh, watch this video and i can say to you the board members Hey guys and gals, you know, it's not 1950 anymore. We have to look at things differently. People don't join because they should. I know you think they should, but they don't. Only 20% of the people, and this is what all the data is reporting, not my data, but other organizations' data, only 20% of people join for, leg for uh, legislative and advocacy. So that means if you're focused there, and a lot of associations are, only oh, you're losing 80%. You're leaving 80% of the people behind in the dust. Why would you do that? So if you want your association to grow, if you truly have the will to grow, well, the number one, you're gonna to need to have the will to change. And you're gonna to have to look at your organization through a new set of eyes and ask, if I was in my 20s and 30s, new in this industry, new in this profession, would I wanna join us? Would I wanna be part of this organization? And if you could honestly say, yeah, and especially if you're a baby boomer, ask yourself, Hey, my kids are in their 20s and 30s. Would they want to be part of this organization? If you can honestly say, yeah, okay, good, great. But if you're going, yeah, I don't know, then maybe it's time to make some change. Well, that's my um, association moment, my, <laughs> my motivational moment. Uh, I don't know how motivating I was today. But I, I think that it's, it's, it's really important in all seriousness. If you're the paid, the, the top person, the chief staff executive, you've got to help your board members to understand that it's not 1950. And you've got to help them to understand that we have to do things differently and we have to pick and choose. And what we have to do is focus on how do we deliver more substantive value to the members? And we've got to be able to, uh, to measure that value and to be able to tell members, hey, for your $500, $200, $700, whatever it is, for this investment in membership, you get X amount of dollars. It should be $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 back in proven value. Well, that's what you need to do. And another video, we'll talk about how to do it. You have a great day. Bye now.